Hey guys, True Grit Scopla Proof Sauce. Uh, just making a quick uh, 660 video. I uh, built a couple this past week and I'm just getting to running them and messing around with them. And you know, I hadn't done a 660 build in, I don't know, a couple weeks. Been doing 440s, 460s, 200Ts. And uh, nice to get back to 660s because I like the builds. They, they, they go nice. Anyhow, so it had been a while since I did them. Uh, these are both highway tight nickel big bore cylinders. So is that 99 cc's. I do all the highway bearings in it, wrist pin bearing, clutch bearing. Did steel bar studs on both of these just because I had some bar studs strip out on me over the last couple months and it frustrated the heck out of me and I'm not sure if it's my process is adding to them stripping out early or they were just unusually soft metal which happens time to time anyhow swap the steel studs on this uh we got the squish set right on them i have a whole another video that i want to do on these again on highway tight nickel cylinders specifically the 660 cylinders we've been running them for a few years now and we're we're seeing about four different iterations of these piston and cylinders not so much the pistons the cylinders so i'm going to talk about that in a whole nother video about which cylinder maybe not so much which one's better or worse but which ones there's differences anyhow that's another video back to the 660s I got that same 25 inch bar that I was running the other day on this saw. So it's cut a bunch of wood. This is only, I don't know, 22 inches. And again, I, it's not the best wood in the world, but it's what I got to cut on right now. I got the saw, it's idling at about 27, 2800 RPMs. And I just did a quick cut and run and it seemed like it's tacking. I'm gonna say it's 12.5, but it might be a little bit higher. Uh, I don't know. Here, you hit the road, dog. I'm going to run a saw, make a few cuts. I'm not trying to make this a long video. It's just something on a 660 build, just so you can see. crazy on this one because to me the benefit of this saw over a 44 or 46 is it's got so much more torque and, and you can feel it in your hands but that bar is not I'm going to talk about this after the video anyhow I'm going to make one more cut I'm going to dog in so you can see me dogging in a little bit for what it's worth with a 25 inch bar <laughs> So what I was saying there was 12,500, and I've said this before, I'm going to say it real quick again and make this a short video. 12,500 RPMs with a 7-pin clutch is 12,000 RPMs with a 7-pitch clutch. Whether it's on a 660, a 440, a 36, a 26, it's the same. The difference is the torque. How much you can dog in, how long of a bar, how far buried it could be in the wood. That's the difference with more cc's. More cc's doesn't necessarily mean faster. 
If they're both sitting on the woods spinning at 10,000 RPMs, they're both spinning at 10,000 RPMs. The difference is, is a 660 can spin at 10,000 RPMs with a 42 or a 52 inch bar. Maybe nine at that point, depending on the wood, because we do it milling. So I know that's the difference. It was a quick video. It's a beautiful day and I got a hundred things to do. So I just wanted to make a quick, mediocre 660 video for you guys. Oh, also had the highway, whatever handle on it too, that I like very well, the heavy duty handles. One's going out with a max flow and a West Coast clutch cover, not this one, that's mine. So I actually have to swap one of these saws out. I have another saw to run actually, and throw the West Coast cut clover for it to leave and that max flow system, which is gonna give that saw a little bit more too. Anyhow guys, True Grid Scott, Bulletproof Plus. Thanks for watching. Be safe out there.